Hi! This screencast demonstrates how to set up a Git repository in NetBeans IDE and push it to GitHub using the IDE's support for the Git versioning system. You are going to see how a sample project is created in the IDE, how a Git repository is initialized in the created project, and how the project is pushed to GitHub. Before utilizing support for Git in NetBeans IDE, an IDE project needs to be created. Let's create a new Java SE project with the Anagram game example, which is shipped with NetBeans IDE. To create a new project, in the IDE, choose File – New Project. In the New Project wizard, expand the Samples category and select Java. Choose Anagram game in the Projects list. Then click Next. In the Name and Location panel, leave the default values for the project name and project location fields. Click Finish. The ID creates and opens the Java C project that is going to be pushed to GitHub. Now you need to initialize a Git repository in your project. In the Projects window, select the project and choose Team Git Initialize Repository from the main menu. The IDE displays the Initialize a Git Repository dialog box. By default, the path to your project is specified. You can modify it if needed. Click OK. Choose Window Output to view the report about the progress of the repository creation in the output window. If you did not change the path in the previous step, a Git subfolder is created in your NetBeans project folder by default. Git starts versioning all files in the Anagram Game folder. Expand the Anagram Game node in the Projects window. Place the cursor over a file name to view the status of the file in the working tree. It displays in green to the right of the slash. All the project files are now marked as added. Choose Team Commit. The Commit dialog box displays. Specify a commit message and click Commit. The ID executes the commit and stores your snapshots to the local repository. Versioning badges disappear and the color coding of committed files returns to black. To put your project files on GitHub, you need to have a GitHub account and a GitHub repository for the project to live in. Go to GitHub and sign in. Click New Repository to set up a remote repository for your project. Specify the project name and its description, which is optional, and click the Create Repository button. You are now provided with an HTTP and SSH paths to your remote repository on GitHub. Copy either of them, since NetBeans IDE supports both the protocols. Go back to the IDE and choose Team Remote Push from the main menu. The Push to Remote Repository wizard displays. Select the Specify Git Repository Location option. Specify the GitHub URL that you copied a short while ago. Provide your GitHub username and password in the respective fields. And click Next. At the Select Local Branches page, choose the branch to push your edits to. And click Next. At the Update Local References page, choose the branch to be updated in the Remotes directory of your local repository 
and click Finish. The specified remote GitHub repository branch is updated with the latest state of your local branch. If you go to GitHub, you will see that your project is now available as a public GitHub repository. You can now push your changes to the GitHub server using NetBeans IDE support for Git. Additional information on the subject can be found on the listed here pages. Thank you for watching.